Just when Leonardo AI comes out with a new tool, a feature, or a new update, this is one of the best Leonardo AI updates I've seen. It's almost as if a new one is just right around the corner. And oftentimes, that's the case. For example, right when I was creating the video of my now favorite fine-tuned model, Kino XL, this new update that we're taking a look at today also came out. And this one blows me away. In such a short period of time, we have all of these new and amazing updates by Leonardo AI. And they're not stopping anytime soon. So if you haven't seen these videos, make sure you also watch these because you definitely don't want to miss out on these other recent new releases. For tons of prompts and the ultimate prompts database, click the links in the description. But this new update takes your images to the next level. It's called Upscaler, but it's not your average Upscaler tool. This one is special. That's because within the Upscaler workspace, you also have a lot of other tools and even a prompt bar to add a prompt to it to make sure your images really do turn out the best way. So just when I thought images couldn't look and feel any realer, Upscaler comes in and blows me away. And of course, this video wouldn't be complete unless I gave you guys some amazing prompts to try with this new update. But make sure you pay attention because these prompts are actually going to consist of some very unique keywords to make your images stand out and look amazing. So here we are, Leonardo AI Upscaler. Enhance your images with the power of AI. And now this is a feature I know that's been long awaited. So you have two choices. You can either select or upload an image you already have. Upload an image from your device or select an image from your personal feed to upscale. And then one of my favorite things is at the very end, once it's done generating, you're going to have a comparison comparison slider, a sliding divider. That way you can really see the big difference it made. So once you have Leonardo AI open, here it is over here on the left hand side. It's called Universal Upscaler. Let's go ahead and then click on this one. And then it takes you to this workspace right here specifically for Upscaler. So the first option you can see front and center, it says add an image. That's where you can click an image and you can either select from your old uploads, but then you can also go to your generations and then scroll throughout your generations and then even upscale one of your AI images. Now, here's one I did earlier. Now, look how amazing this is. I'll first slide it all the way over without the upscale. Now, when you're looking at this, you could say, that looks pretty cool. I don't see how it could get much better than this, but watch this, it does. Once I click and drag the divider over, look at the difference in the details of the tower. Look at that it's gonna become a lot more detailed and a lot more realistic. It's a huge, massive difference, even the sky and the stars. But the one that really stands out is gonna be that tower right here. We'll also take a look at this image right here. So again, this image is pretty good, but when I use the upscaler, look at her eyes. Now pay special attention to the glow in her eyes and the sparkle, huge difference. Okay, so now to take full advantage of this new update and leverage the power of upscaler, we're gonna head over to my Airtable mega database. Now this one is new. This one was created specifically for Leonardo AI. And that's because it's gonna have everything labeled and tagged based off the fine tuned model. So for example, if I expand this image right here, you can see the full prompt, and then you can see it was created with Albedo Base XL, and then with the Alchemy Preset Dynamic. And you can select any cell to expand it, and then you could see every image that was created, the prompt that was used, and then you could actually see the fine-tuned model. This one was Kino XL Photography Preset, and it's cinematic in person. And then you could even click on the image to expand it, download it directly yourself, and use it however you want. And so we'll be using a few of these today. So in an image like this line one, this one right here, you could see that we use some very specific and unique keywords to get this look right here. And that's where these unique keywords are gonna come in. So if you don't have access to this database, I'll put a link in my description, and then that way you can get access to this database, plus thousands of other prompts that you might find helpful. So let's come in here and then copy this whole entire prompt. So we could see some of the specific keywords that were used in this one. So a combination of these keywords is what allows us to create this very unique image that stands out. Another thing to keep in mind, in this prompt database, there is a section called unique keywords. All these unique keywords, I'll basically separate them, and then on the corresponding right-hand column, you'll see the sort of image that you'll get. But if you experiment with a lot of these other unique keywords, you're going to get some fascinating results. So back over here in Leonardo AI, we're going to start with a brand new image. So down here in the bottom left-hand corner, I'm going to hit that plus button, okay? That's where I have the option of either uploading my own or a previous generation. Since I made that one from Hong Kong earlier, we're gonna go ahead and then select 
from a prior generation. So let me go through a few of these and then choose one that I like. I have it selected. Now go ahead and now hit confirm. Once it's confirmed over here on the left hand side, it gives us a display. Here are some very important settings. So upscale style. This is pretty amazing. Choose the preferred style for your image enhancement. If I expand this box, we're going to have general, 2D art and illustration, cinematic, and then CG art and game assets. Now, I tried all of these, and they're going to give you some very different and amazing style results. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and then stick to cinematic, since this prompt or this image was a cinematic style image. So once we have all of our options chosen, we can go ahead and then select upscale, but I'm going to look over here at creativity strength, drag the slider to adjust and control the artistic intensity, higher values yield more creativity, lower keeps them closer to the source image. Let's add a little bit more creativity to it. Also the upscale multiplier, drag it to determine the final image size, higher results in a larger, more detailed output. I always like to keep it higher, the highest it could be, because I really want to get those fine details in my new image. We can add a prompt to it, or we can just select it as is, but notice this. If I add a prompt, it says, add a short prompt describing the image, and this will help guide the upscaler. So since I did drag my creativity strength to the higher end, I'm not going to include my prompt just yet. We'll try that one on the next one. So for now, let's just go ahead and then upscale it without adding a new prompt. Now our upscaled image is done. And I have to tell you, this one is even more impressive. So again, here it is in the middle. I have my divider all the way over on the right hand side. So this is the original image. Okay. Original image. As I go slowly to the left, you're going to see the new upscaled version. Look at the difference in the skyline, the lights and the sky. As I go over to the left, from the left to the right, look at that. For example, look at the building over here on the right hand side where it has an illuminated red neon light. Okay. It's blurry. You really can't make out what it is. With the upscaler, now you can see there is legit and accurate text. How about the next one? Blurry to now text. Amazing. So look at the details of the buildings and the lighting. Now, the main one, this is a phenomenal job. Even the sky. So when I scroll over to the left by that top skyscraper, look at the details and how in the clouds and how they change. Now, if I go all the way over to the left, here is the new image completely upscaled and incredibly impressive. Now let's try this with a person and now let's try adding it with a prompt as well. We're going to actually try two. I'm going to try this one right here. Okay. This wide angle of this astronaut. We'll try this one. And then we're going to also try an extreme close up angle one. Specifically, this one right here that generated all four of these amazing, highly detailed images. And again, this image right here, I don't really know how you can get more detailed than this, but with Upscaler, it's possible and it's even more impressive than this one. This time, I'll just go ahead and upload it. Even though it is a generation, I'll upload it from my personal documents and I'll go ahead and then choose it, okay? So you can do this even with photos of yourself. So here's the image right over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag the creativity strength down back to the middle. Okay. I'm going to leave upscale multiplier, but this time we're actually going to add the prompt that was used to create it. So if I go back over here to the prompt, let me go ahead and then copy it. Now here are the unique keywords that really make this stand out. So it's going to be extreme close up shot. Okay. And then we're going to have the camera and lens that we're going to be using a 300 millimeter lens on the Nikon D850 for maximum detail. And then we also say capture the raindrops in extreme detail, revealing the intricacies of each raindrop as they interact with her skin. These specific keywords will really make a big difference. So now that we have our prompt copied paste it over here in the prompt box. Now there's my prompt. All of my options are looking good. The upscaler style for now, I'm still going to leave it on cinematic. So let's go ahead and now generate this one. Now, as we're waiting on that one, I'm going to go back to my database and go back to that wide angle astronaut one, because that was another keyword I wanted to focus on. It was going to be this wide angle minimalistic photo of an astronaut. Okay. Okay. So now remember we used the prompt on this one. Here is the final image. Okay. Look at this difference. 
Now, if I drag my slider all the way over to the right-hand side, this is the original image. No complaints. It looks amazing. In fact, I'm highly impressed with the level of detail, especially with her eyes. You can even see the blood vessels in her eyes. But remember, this is the original image. This isn't the upscaled version yet. Watch what happens when I move the divider over. Look at the details now, okay? It becomes a little bit brighter, but then the details, specifically Look at her eyebrows and then her eyelashes and then the dilation of her pupil and her eye. Amazing job. Even the raindrops and then the freckles on her skin. This did a fantastic job. Now, let's try two more. Wide angle and then I want to show you how amazing it's going to work with CG art and then game assets. So this time, I'm not going to have a prompt. I'm going to turn off the prompt one. Because what I really want to do is really bring the creativity strength up all the way to number 10 at the top. Just to see the difference, okay? So we have this image right here from this actual prompt right here. And now I'll pause on this prompt for a couple of seconds. That way you have time to copy it yourself because I highly recommend trying this one, okay? You can replace any of the subjects with your own. So instead of saying Mars, ocean, you could say Earth, desert, and you'll get the same sort of image. Here it is. I'm clicking on it. Let's first drag it all the way over to the right and then look at the difference right here. Okay, now this is important and why I wanted to make my creativity strength all the way higher. So, this one actually did a great job. I love the detail. However, since my creativity strength is all the way at a 10, it did leave my upscaled image a little bit incomplete. So the first one's impressive. Everything looks good on the new upscaled version. Everything is much improved. However, take a special close-up shot of the astronaut. I don't really like the extra little drops of water right here. So what I would suggest is instead of having my creativity strength all the way to a number 10, don't have it up that high, specifically for a cinematic angle, because you're going to get, like it says over here, it says higher values yield more creativity. This is the sort of image where we're really not concerned with a high creativity level, because this is going to be more of a cinematic wide angle interstellar, so it doesn't fit the description. So next time, what you would want to do for this specific image is just leave your creativity strength at either a 5 or a 6. I wouldn't go beyond that. Now, a different style of an image, one that's going to have a lot of colors, vibrant colors, gradient, neon, or a lot of details, I would adjust the creativity strength to the higher end. But for ones like this, I don't recommend having it all the way up. Okay, with that being said, let's do one more and I'll upload my most recent image of Sonic the Hedgehog. And now let's change it to CG art and game assets. Creativity strength, I'll leave it at a six and I'll also add a prompt now. And look at the difference here. Now this did a fantastic job. Again, I'm gonna scroll over. Now look at the detail. Look at Sonic the Hedgehog specifically, okay? If you notice his head and then even on his belly, okay? And again, remember, this doesn't only work with AI generated images you can even upscale your own images. So even images of yourself or even some selfies that you take or family photos. But thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.